Hi, my name is John Kaiser. I graduated from St. Bernard's in 1976. Went here from first grade on. They didn't have a kindergarten here when I started, but all my siblings went here. Uh, we had a great neighborhood. Uh, the neighborhood was full of uh, good Catholic families. On our short block, we had nine, um, 66th and 65th Street. We had over well over 100 kids, most who went here. It was so full. When my older brother Bob went here, they had to send kids over to the orphanage at 60th and military to have classes. Uh, the class size when I graduated was 88 in my class, many of whom are still good friends of mine. Uh, one of my good friends, Tim Goodrode, I went through kindergarten through 12th grade with, and we still do stuff today. Uh, some of my fondest memories here uh, were in Boy Scouts. I spent a lot of time uh, with uh, Dan Fitzpatrick, Paul Camp, Matt Tilford, and a whole bunch of other people who I'm still friends with today here. Uh, the school has been really good to me. There's been great teachers who influenced my life, uh, from Miss Bay in third grade, Miss Moss at the school made always feel like home. Uh, Miss Moss at one time in fourth grade, I felt so comfortable when I left school. I said, good night, Mom, I love you. And then I just thought, died of embarrassment. Uh, in seventh grade, we had Mr. Gilligan, who was here, who uh, gave most of the students strong legs. He had a, a desk that if you flew in your chair on the back two legs, they cut the front legs off the desk. And so you had to sit in that chair for a little while. Uh, Sister Carlin, who taught me uh, that people who used curse words just weren't intelligent enough to think of more appropriate words. Uh, but this, this school has been like uh, family to me. The parish has been like family to me. It's nice to go to church and see generations of families who I went to school with bringing their kids here now. Um, and just how the school pulls together. When we remodeled the church, uh, Father asked for help to move the church afterwards. And in an hour and a half, they had all the chairs moved over from there to here. And we had Mass in here for a year while they were being remodeled. Some of the other things that I remember from the 70s is the church has looked three different ways since I've been here. Uh, the original one, as far as I remember, up behind the cross, there was a giant mural with many saints on it. And in the 80s, the whole church, which was full of color, became white. And when they remodeled it again at the last restoration, uh, we got to see the mural again. During the 80s, it had a, a cover over it, but that was always interesting. When I was a child, we had uh, only altar boys. There, weren't, there were no girl servers. And we had an altar boy picnic every year. Father Jim Schultz was one of the pastors, and his mountaineering was his hobby. And on the altar boy picnic, we went to Hummel Park, and he taught us all how to repel off of one of the dirt slides. Another thing that I remember about that was different about the location was on the north end of the rectory in that parking lot. That was one of our main playgrounds, and they had a big swing set on it. And the big swing set, kids kept getting hurt on. And I think the last time a kid broke his arm, they basically cut that swing set and moved it all over to, across the street. And at the school, there was a custodian who lived on site. Bernie Tork had an apartment in the building. And he was there 24 hours a day with his wife. They lived where the daycare uh, is right now. So that's a big change from when, when they had it. Uh, the school was built in 1949, and my family moved here in 1952. I'm the youngest. I'm not the youngest. I am number six out of seven kids that went through St. Bernard's. And from 1952, when my family moved here, uh, there's been a Kaiser here all but 16 years. And my son is in seventh grade now and he'll be going here one more year. One of the other things in the 70s is guitar masses were becoming popular. And we had an eighth grade class with our eighth grade girls who played guitar and sang and they were really good. At least I thought so. It inspired me to want to play at church. And that's why I'm playing guitar here at church today. One of the other things that I learned from the school was the importance of being pro-life. Uh, Mrs. Nordic was our fifth grade teacher and she really instilled in us and did all the teachers the importance of being pro-life. I hope that St. Bernard's is a family 
um, to everyone who comes here. And you can see it in the number of families who even moved out of the parish who still come back and call St. Mary's home. I hope the newer members here feel the same thing and the church and the parish and school lives on for many years. I've had friends now from childhood on that I still uh, do things with today. There's many people who have helped shape my life in this school and this church, and it's been a great part of my life. I just want to wish St. Bernard's a happy 100th anniversary.